Hey YouTube, what's good? Welcome back to my channel. It is Miss Jordy, and today we will be reviewing a keyboard from the Pink Stuff. It is their classic pink typewriter keyboard. Here is what comes in the box. It is a USB cord to charge or use wired with the device. The instruction manual, which is obviously very, very important for someone like me. And a tool to change out your switches, including two extra blue switches, which I thought was very, very nice. And of course, the keyboard itself. And as you can see, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous keyboard. Look at that. It's pink, it's bright, it has silver sides on there, and it just looks so pretty. Like, at my initial first glance, like, look at my face. I'm just so happy about it. I just loved how this keyboard looks and just clicking on it. Like, I'm just, I'm doing a whole bunch. So, yeah, y'all, I'm so excited about this keyboard. I did also get express shipping. However, shipping took a really, really long time. I didn't realize it at the time of purchase, but it did come from, uh, I wanna say China. Definitely would not recommend buying the extra shipping. It's not gonna come fast, so just do the standard shipping and you'll be good. I bought this keyboard mainly for my iPad. However, as you can see here, it also works with your cell phone and the PC on Bluetooth, or like I said earlier, you can use it directly with the cord that comes in the box and make it a nice little wire connection. The typewriter slot on the keyboard is pretty cute because it holds the device fairly well. However, to me, my iPad leaned back a little too much, obviously with it being so big and it's heavy, but that's not a big deal in my opinion. I'll just put the keyboard in front of the iPad whenever I choose to use the device. So moving along, on the back of the keyboard, you will find the port for the USB to charge the device. You'll see a switch that you can flip for using it on Windows or Mac and iOS, which I think is really, really nice. And then finally, there's just one switch for the wired connection, Bluetooth, or just to turn the device off in general. When I do slide it over to the Bluetooth setting, one blue light came on on the far left end, which according to the instruction book, that meant that it's ready to connect. So I honestly thought when I first saw that, that it meant it was like on its final charge, y'all. So I was very confused. But no, that just simply meant that it is ready to connect to your device. And oh my gosh, I just love the sound this keyboard makes. Like, look at that click. Oh, such nice, beautiful clicks, y'all. I just, I can't say that enough. I am kind of having a hard time connecting it to my iPad, so I did have to bust out the manual, but after a little bit of tries, it finally lives. I'm so happy about it. So moving right along, I do wanna show you all the LED light settings. The lights only come on in white on this keyboard. Some of the other keyboards on the Pink Stuff's website does have some of those cool RGB settings with all the different colors, but this one is strictly backlit in white. And there are so many settings. Like, oh my gosh, look how many settings I'm flipping through. Yeah, I could literally look at this all day. <laughs> but my favorite one is the one that has the ripple effect. So after you click a button, it kind of looks like it's waves going out to the rest of the keys on the keyboard. Honestly, it's pretty cool. I do think that the RGB touch would have been really nice. However, so you could actually make it pink, which is what I really wanted to do. But honestly, I'm not going to complain because white looks just as nice as I'm currently revamping my setup. And the wheels on the side also adjust the brightness, which is pretty cool. And the lever on the side also has LED control so you can really spice it up and make it your own. Now I'll leave all of the super specific details in the description box as well, but this keyboard does have blue switches. So I didn't realize this, but the box also said that red was an option for your switches. However, I did not see that on the website. So if someone else does see the red switch, 
then go ahead and check that out. Um, for me, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. I'm pretty sure the keyboard I currently use on my PC actually has brown switches because I do enjoy a little bit of the resistance. However, I really can't notice it. The keys on this keyboard go down really easily. And so these switches sound very, very nice. So I'm very happy with the switches I've got. And it was pretty easy to pop the key caps on and off, as you can see here, with the tool that they have. And then I'm not gonna actually pull the switch out of the slot because I don't have any intention of switching mine out. However, if you do, you can use this little device and it'll make it super simple. And also don't be like me, my nails are currently in the way of me trying to make this moment cuter. So there's that. <laughs> But with all that out the way, yeah, that's going to pretty much do it for my little review of this keyboard, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. If you have any questions about it, leave it in the description box below. And I'll certainly do my best to answer everything that I can and also leave the details in the description box too so thank you all so much for watching and i'll catch you in another video real real soon if you enjoyed it subscribe and i'll see y'all later bye